Hello everyone, this is Amir from Audio Science Review. I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, power line filtering. Um, recently I did a review of a uh, Amazon Basics uh, amplifier. You can find it on Audio Science Review uh, website. And uh, I was doing the teardown and showing the different building blocks and it just hit me that uh, most people probably don't realize that every one of these uh, devices, if it's a proper brand which has gone through certification, regulatory certifications for emissions and safety, already has a, an AC mains filter and, and quite elaborate one. This the owner bought this for just seventy dollars, by the way. It's, I think it retails for one hundred thirty, one hundred forty dollars. But you see a block in here, and you see a bunch of parts in here. This is the AC mains wiring comes in here. First, it's got a um, a ferrite core in here as a high frequency filter goes through a switch and then goes into these components over here and uh, let me show you that in a, on the teardown page um, you can see these components over here these are all mains uh, noise uh, filter why did they put them in there they don't advertise them right it's not a feature they have a switching power supply in here, and a switching power supply basically generates these pulses with tons and tons of energy, and uh, that's how it gets its efficiency, but it also generates a lot of uh, noise that can feed back through the mains and go out. So if you just build this switching power supply uh, uh, over here and don't put any filtering on the mains wiring, it will actually send the noise over wire and... Uh, when they start testing this for emissions, uh, both conducted and transmitted, uh, it will fail. Um, so devices like this that have independent uh, FCC certification or CE certification, by definition, have uh, these kinds of noise filters in them. Um, the filters though don't care whether they're filtering noise in this direction or from mains coming in. It's for it, you know, it's just parallel on the wires. And so it effectively does tremendous amount of filtering. High frequency is not an audible band, but then again, that's exactly what you're going to find in the uh, uh, power strip that's, uh, you know, it's got filtering, uh, noise filtering. Uh, these also tend to also have protective devices like MOVs and, and thermistors and others to also handle surges. Why? Because it costs a few cents to put those parts in there and avoids having to have warranty calls uh, just in case there is a surge that comes in and damages this. So might as well just put a few cents worth of parts in there uh, to do this. Uh, there's a Japan uh, standards actually uh, recommendation that uh, uh, almost the entire consumer electronics industry follows that mandates having such surge protection on the inputs of, of your device. Um, uh, another thing to note is that a lot of times the noise inside a device is far harder than the noise outside. And indeed, that's the case over here. So if that's the case, then why worry about the noise coming in? <laughs> Think about that. Uh, the, if the source of noise is in here, then there's nothing you could do on the input of this device to make it run better because this is where all the noise is generated, not before the wire. Um, and the argument that, hey, this generates noise and it comes out and therefore you should filter it into something doesn't hold because, again, the filtering is right here. You can see that. Um, a while ago, I did a teardown of an UnQ ABR. Uh, and uh, there is also, you can see this AC filter block. If you go zoom in, it's kind of a tough picture because module was down there. You can see the capacitor in here and, and other parts in here that are designed to, again, clean up the noise. Anytime you have just about any kind of audio device with any complexity to it, it's going to generate internal noise. Anything with a CPU, processor, uh, which these AVRs have, uh, again, switching power supplies, is almost mandatory to put these filters in there. So all of these things will have it. Uh, it was funny thing over here that the, this pin wasn't soldered correctly. <laughs> I went to move it a little bit, so I'd take a picture of it, and the pin just was uh, up in the air. So uh, quality <laughs> control is not even good in case of some Japanese products. This is a 20-year-old uh, AVR, so uh, maybe it's a you know an exception, but you can see it wasn't properly uh uh, solder, but this is a 0.1 microfarad cap, it's safety rated uh, for its use, and you can see it's got the certifications in their CSA and, and so forth. 
Okay, um, I have done a bunch of teardowns. If you go to uh, audio video review uh, website and click on teardown, um, you'll see a bunch of devices in here and you can look inside them and, and you will find a lot of uh, pictures of, of PC boards and, and you'll see the uh, um, filters in there and uh, it's really standard practice. Uh, so if you feel good from having an external filter on your device and a surge protection on, on your in your power strip, know that your device is not naked. It has its own protection and they've had it and that's why they're so resilient by the way. Um, there, they know that AC mains is a dirty thing, and some, you know, it can have noise on it, and they're designed not to inject things in it, but they also to try to protect themselves as well. Okay, for a change, we're going to keep this video short. <laughs> See you in another one. Bye bye.